everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A and if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because that's where I ask you guys to ask me questions at Taking On Giselle and I told you guys to make them juicy so I'm going to answer as many as I can. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> is from aa.arlene and she said do you want to have kids in the future and yes um i've always known i've wanted kids i would love to have my own family someday and have children alexa.v asked have you ever had a friend turn on you for no reason by the way i love you so much i love you too um yes i have mostly when i was younger and it was just more like that situation where like you just grow apart and you get like your own different circle of friends um, but that's about it just when I was younger not really in high school or anything like that honestly I've never really been involved in like crazy like drama with friends or anything because I keep my circle of friends pretty small and they're all great people Avi Raso 04 asked if you could change one thing in the world what would it be by the way you're beautiful and so sweet have a great day oh thank you I think that we would all just be like kind to one another like we're all humans I just don't like how sometimes we fear other people or we're scared of doing things because we're scared that you know people might hurt us and I wish everyone could just get along and be kind I think it would just be like such a great world just like walking out your house and you know everyone is on your side you know like yeah. Ayat Sorelli asks, you ever thought of getting this famous? And honestly, you guys, I don't think I'm famous at all. Like, like that's not even a word I would ever use to describe myself. Like, I don't, like, I know I do have a social media following, but I don't think I'm anything, like, crazy special or that I'm above anyone else. And I know, like, if my friends had this following, I would be like, girl, you're famous, you're famous. I'm friends with a famous person. But honestly, I just don't feel that way. And... I don't know, like, I don't feel that way. I feel like I'm still living my regular life. Like I go to school, I have my friends, like nothing really is different. Um, I just feel like myself. I just feel exactly the same. But I guess to answer the question, did I ever think of getting to this point? No, like never ever ever in a million years having so many people that support me and love me and like to watch me and are curious about my life. Like never in a million years did I ever, 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 ever think this would be like my life, you know? <laughs> Lil Tim Jetty asked, favorite food, my most favorite food, like home cooked meal type of food. Um, I don't know what everyone else calls them. I don't know if it's like a thing, but like in my family, we call them miguitas con chorizo. And it's literally just tortillas with chorizo. Like that's all it is. And I just love it so much. That's my favorite food. Besides that, I really like pizza, McDonald's, quesadillas. A. Julisa asked, is there anything you regret doing or not doing in life? Love you and your channel so much. Thank you so much. I love you too, Julisa. I think about this sometimes and I don't regret anything because I like who I am today. I really do. I wouldn't change a thing because then I wouldn't be who I am now. And like, I feel like I'm so different from back then and I needed to go through those things and experience those things to be what I am now or who I am now. Um, if I really were to think about this, like things that I would change would be like, when I was too shy to do certain things, to speak up, to defend myself, things like that, but nothing in specific that I would like take back because then again, like I don't think I would be who I am today. Catherine Hyen, 5700 asked, favorite memory with your boyfriend? And I don't know, when I think about this, like the first thing I always think of is like the night we started talking. First of all, I wasn't even gonna go in the first place because I was so shy. I remember like almost backing out. I went through with it and it wasn't anything of what I expected at all, but it was amazing. It was just such a fun night and I really wanna make a story time on how everything happened. So if you guys want a story time on like how we met, let us know because I don't know, it's like nothing too, too crazy, but like it's just like a fun story. It's a fun story. Underscore Nayeli, 30 asks, what type of career are you thinking of doing? Love all your videos, by the way. Thank you so much. Right now, I'm going into business. That is what I'm currently studying at my university. Um, my dream job would be, I would love to work for a company, something maybe in their marketing department. I really like that stuff. Or even opening my own online business someday. That is something that I would love to do as well because I've done it before in the past, like way back, like when I had my other YouTube channel. Yes, you guys, I had another one when I was like 10 and I had like my own little Etsy store, like my own little store Envy and I really liked it. I feel like I could do that someday as like 
my full-time job someday. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what I would sell. I don't know anything, but that is like something that maybe I would like to do. Grams and cookies asked, what is your ideal wedding location? I know you guys are asking all these things because I'm dating someone. <laughs> um, but... I've always loved the beach. I don't know. The beach is one of my favorite places to go and I'm actually going this summer and I'm so excited. Yeah, maybe something with the beach or maybe I'll leave that for the honeymoon. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Esmeralda123XO asks, who is your celebrity crush? I don't really have one, but like I was thinking about it, right? And I'm like, okay, if I really had to pick, I'm sorry, Cristiano. <laughs> He's always accusing me <laughs> that I think he's cute, and I'm like, no, 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 I just like his music. But Mario Bautista, <laughs> so I think he's just really nice, and I love his music, and I follow him on Instagram, and he's just super humble, and yeah, I think I'll, I'll go with Mario Bautista. <laughs> Patricia A asks, how close are you and your family? We are pretty close. I told my mom everything. Um, my sister and I are really close. My brother moved out a few months ago because he got married, so I don't see him as often, but I always felt like I was pretty close to him as well even though he's seven years older than me I don't know why like it just hit me a few months ago I'm like dang my brother is like a decade older than me um but we always got along I'm, I'm really close with my family and we all we all get along um Lucy Mel 05 asks what's your favorite tv show at the moment what's your favorite singer at the moment and okay I have a confession you guys I don't watch tv at all I don't watch any Netflix series I don't watch anything like you can ask me about a show that's super popular and like I don't know anything about it. I've never watched it in my life. The only shows I've ever really watched is Friends, that 70s show. I watched some, I watched a few seasons of Pretty Little Liars and The Office. Like that's literally all I know. I haven't really watched anything else. Oh, and Vampire Diaries. I watched like a season of Vampire Diaries and it was pretty good. Um, but yeah, besides that, like I don't know anything that's out there. I don't know what's new. I don't know what's trendy, whatever. Stranger Things, I'm so behind on everything. But on YouTube, I do watch The Real. It's this daytime talk show. And I am obsessed with all those girls on the show. I think it's so good. I literally rewatch episodes. I think they talk about really interesting things and it gives me some really good like points of views and different perspectives. I would say that's my favorite show at the moment because technically it is kind of like a show. Um, and my favorite singer... You guys, there's so many new good songs. Ugh. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's Bad Bunny just because he's been coming out with some pretty good new music. Dime si te acuerdas y Amor Foda. I think those are really, really good and they're brand new. If you could travel anywhere in the world with your boyfriend, where would it be? By the way, love you so much. I love you too. I would say the beach just because, again, I love the beach so much and I think it would be so much fun just like swimming in the ocean, like drinking out of a coconut or something. Betty underscore 109 asks, now that you are in adulthood, yes, you guys, I am in adulthood now, <laughs> what do you wish that you would have done differently when you were younger? And I, I think I would say giving people power over me. Um, and I've, again, I talked about this earlier and I've said this before, like, I did not know how to defend myself. I just kind of stayed quiet when things happened and I, I don't know why I never told myself, hey, to sell, like, you can leave. Like, if something is toxic, leave. Like, it just never went through my head, like, why do you stay in these situations? Why do you stick with these certain type of people if they're not contributing in your life in any way that is positive. I don't know why it just never clicked in me. Now that I'm older, it definitely does. MK Riela asks, is what you're doing now what you've always wanted to do growing up? Not at all, like, no. <laughs> I never really had an idea of what I wanted to do when I was older. Now that I'm older, I kind of figured it out, but, um, like doing social media, having it like as my job right now and working with like different brands, making fun entertaining videos for people to watch them. Like no, that was never something that even crossed my mind. Not even when I started my channel, that just never even crossed my mind either. Honestly, I don't even know what I was thinking when I opened my channel. Like it wasn't like, oh, I want to be a big YouTube star. Like that wasn't it. I just knew, I just had this like thing in me where like I wanted to share something with someone and that was literally it. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Christian Afchi asked, Mi amor, my question is going to be a super serious question. How are you? 
what would be one thing you could not live without? If I'm honest, I think YouTube. <laughs> I've always been watching YouTube videos, like that's what helps you sleep at night. I watch videos when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm getting ready, in the background. It's just like my guilty pleasure. Hey, okay, Karina underscore Cristo asks, what's your greatest fear? Okay, my greatest fear is like being like murdered or like dying in like a horrible way, like, drowning or I don't know, like just some horrible way where it's not like a natural cause of death. Like that's my greatest fear. Underscore Evelyn X asks, where are you planning on living? I'm probably going to be living here until I graduate from college, which is like another year and a half, um, two years, and probably after that as well, I'll probably still be living here. I want to start saving up money for the future, not because I have any plans specifically of moving out, but just so I, just so I have some savings. I'm not in any rush at all to leave, um, just because like everything that I need is here. I'd rather stay here. I know some people like as soon as they're 18 or you know 19 or 20 they just want to move out and like bam but like if you're not ready and you can still stay at home i say stay at home like that's what i'm gonna be doing and save up money while you can yes it's nice it's probably really nice to live on your own and have that freedom but in the long run i would rather save up money now instead of having to struggle okay three eight three one one seven two four one two three one one two one one two one five underscore as when did you start to live in the u.s if your family is mexican well um my parents were born in mexico they moved here when they were like in their 20s and then they had me here i've lived here my whole life madeline macado or machado as how are you so confident and I'm confident in some ways, you guys. I have my own insecurities. I struggle with my own things. I think it comes with just like, as you get older, you just, you're more authentically yourself. I guess, and the, the more you know yourself, the more you know like exactly like who you are and like what you stand for and like your values. Like that's what like keeps you grounded and like that's what gives you like the strength and that confidence. Queen underscore Kathy 8 asks your advice on social anxiety by the way. Love you. I love you too. This is something that I definitely struggle with sometimes and I think the best thing that works for me um, is just thinking like what is the worst thing that can happen? Like, they're not going to do anything to you. Just go there, talk to them. And probably they're just as nervous meeting you and like talking to you, you know? And also say yes. If someone like invites you somewhere, just say yes. And the more experience you get, the easier it's going to get. LizzieMelo.c asks, you like pineapples on your pizza? I don't, you guys. I don't like the sweet with the pizza. So I end up taking out the little pineapples. I, I know. I'm just, I'm such a plain girl. I eat all my food plain, like pepperoni pizza, that's it. It. my hamburgers I eat them plain my hot dogs I eat them plain I know I know I know I know I'm a disappointment to humanity bip dot underscore dot ds asks if you could only use three makeup products for the rest of your life what would they be okay I'm gonna say concealer mascara and blush I think that's what I would go with concealer mascara and blush yeah yeah Underscore Gladys asked embarrassing period story. I have so many you guys like they happen to me every time I get my period um, I remember I was in eighth grade and I was in the lunch line and then my friend Odali said like just saw like there's like a stain on your pants And I'm like what 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 and like I turn around and I like my whole like pants is stained and it's in front of everyone in the cafeteria and i had to go to the restroom my friend karen had to go get her sweatpants from her locker and she gave me those to change because it was that bad and that's happened to me so many times where like it stains and i'm at school and i'm like oh my gosh like does anyone have a hoodie so i can wrap this around my waist and then she also asked have you ever drank alcohol i've never drank alcohol there's been opportunities and i've always rejected them i decided this when i was really really young i just didn't i guess it just scared me you know because my parents always taught me like don't do it um and now that i'm older of course like there's more situations where i can drink and i still choose not to honestly because i'm underage and i truly believe that like those things can affect your brain while you're still developing it can be dangerous if you take too much and all these car accidents and all these things i just don't want to condone underage drinking i want people to be safe and that's it cindy's not lame asks what advice do you give people going through breakups and just in general people that can't move on by the way i love you you're so gorgeous can you follow me back please of course the biggest advice that i have is time like time heals everything and anything you just have to tell yourself like hey that that person is not the only thing out there and you're going to find better there is 
always better always 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 there will be better and that person who is meant for you will be for you and you won't have to like fight for them or like beg them like it's just gonna happen on its own ask me a question okay this is my last question um an embarrassing moment from your first year or semester of college no one cares in college you guys yeah that's actually true like everyone does their own thing yeah if you fall like nobody Who cares, cares. <laughs> you, know, you blurred out the wrong answer but you thought you were right Nobody cares. You're the one who goes like home thinking about it and everyone else. Is yeah, you fall and you're like, damn, I fell. Like all day you're thinking about the fact that you fell. Nobody even noticed, That's girl. We fell. Really they true. probably fell too. Okay, so that is the last question. I hope you guys enjoyed this q and It was really fun for me. Thank you so much if you ask questions on my Instagram. Make sure to follow me at Taking On This for future Q&As. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And make sure to turn on the little like bell notification button so it lets you know when I upload videos. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye.